Welcome to Second Life. This short video will provide examples of science learning opportunities in Second Life. At Zazen Mambi Science School, we see interactive, real-time data visualization, compiling real-time weather data with the geographic display. The publishers of the well-known science journal Nature have created Second Nature. Here we see interaction with cholesterol molecules, touching a molecule which is then enlarged for closer viewing. Max Chatmoir's Genome Island is a rich resource of educational information on genetics, the history of genetics, and genomics. You can even enter a giant cell and interact with the intracellular structures. You have to find the exocytic vesicle to exit the cell. At the ARC Research Center, Ollie Kubrick is creating anatomical models with the new Second Life Sculpti prims. These models are available in a variety of size scales, from life size to across hundreds of yards. You can even animate small portions of it and have a combination of working with 3D spaces and movement through time with animated body parts, such as this beating heart. ISTE, the International Society for Technology and Education, here illustrates the use of traditional learning environments and distance learning in Second Life. What you see here is a real-time conference with participation and engagement from different persons around the globe, Michigan to Eugene, Oregon to Wollongong, Australia, all in the same room at the same time, having conversations on topics of common interest. The tower section of Max Chatnoir's Genome Island is a must-see for science learning environments, particularly experiential learning environments in Second Life. Here, students can interact with replicas of classic genetic experiments, repeat them, gather the data, pick up instructions, take a quiz, edit the quiz, and turn it into the faculty member, then move on to the next level of content provided a truly interactive connection with the content. The New Media Consortium has sponsored Research Park, where you see the potential for creating clinical simulation modules in a Second Life clinic space. You could make standardized patients, have clinic interactions, demonstrate clinical layout, and set up tutorials. Notice the use of humor and the potential for treasure hunts in the clinic space to encourage engagement with content. We hope this tour has helped you see potential for science learning and research in Second Life. And here we bid you farewell.